We will build it. A beautiful, bountiful kingdom. Where everyone can live happily ever after. Wow. My inventions will change the world. I'll finish the perpetual fission reactor if it's the last thing I do. Zip, please. <laughs> I don't care what it costs. <laughs> Chapter Six The Price of Power. Greetings. I'll be counting on you. Forgive me. Hmm. Of course. Hey there! Thank you! Say.
Hmm. Oh, come on! Listen. Oh. Golly. What is that thing? It appears to be an airship of some sort. Ugh, look at the face on it! We're ready when you are, Bracken. Just say the word. Thanks, Trey. Maybe now you'll listen, Zip. For too long, the President has been working us like slaves to get his perpetual fission reactor finished. But we have a message for him. We are not your slaves, Zip. We demand workers' rights. We demand fair treatment. We've had it with being worked half to death. No more reactor. No more overtime. We're not slaves! We're not slaves! Sounds like I'm gonna have to let some people go.
see what happens to those who defy me! <laughs> Finally decided to make an appearance, huh, Mr. President? What a disappointment to see you leading this ragtag resistance. You know, I expected better of you, Bracken. I expected better of you, too. Have you forgotten what we said when we started out? We promised to make the world a better place, remember? And we will! The perpetual fission reactor will change the world forever! And the future will be mine to define! Even if it means trampling over everybody who helped you make it this far? You used to care about us. You used to be a leader people could trust. But that's all gone. Now it's progress or nothing, no matter the cost. When did you get so... broken? Ha! I'm the broken one? Look at yourselves, stuck in the past, left behind by the march of progress. I don't need you anymore. <laughs> it is time. <laughs> Do you really think you can stop me? Well, let me tell you something, friend. Anybody who stands in my way... ...gets atomized! Hey. Yes. Holy.
Now... If I may be so bold... Excuse me? Uh-huh. Hey, Bracken, there's something up with this circuit. Can you take a look? Sure, let me see. Yeah, I think you're getting some leakage right about here. Okay, leave it with me and I'll see what I can do. Oh, that'd be great, thanks. I can't wait to get the crystal battery up and running. This thing's gonna be a game changer for the energy business. The technology we build here today will make a better tomorrow for everybody. I can feel it. Me too. Wow. You're right.
Thanks. What the? Oh no. Right. Ready? The launch was a disaster. Everybody hates it. Half the units we shipped have been returned. What? Why? Why? Damn it, my design was perfect! I'm sorry, Zip. This is the end for us, huh? We're finished. Man. Oh, man. What are we gonna do? You're gonna quit whining and start thinking. That's why. This isn't the end. It's the beginning. 
Someday soon, the world will finally understand my vision. We're not giving up until that day comes. We nearly went under, right then and there. I can remember sitting up crying all night long. It was hard, but nobody did more to get us back on our feet than Zip. He was an inspiration. God, dang it! Sorry. Shut up! Shut up, shut up, shut up! Y yeah. Gah. Alrighty. <laughs> Alrighty. No. Finally ready! Behold, the all-singing, all-dancing smart stick! With one of these revolutionary devices, anyone can be a wizard. No more magic monopoly for the casting classes. Now, there'll be spells for everybody! You did it, Zip! Congratulations! Hey, hey, I couldn't have done it without you guys. This was a team effort. Don't forget that. I know I won. Thank you, all of you. We were a team back then. We all thought the same way, wanted the same thing. How did it all go so wrong? Um... Huh? Well, you see... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Y yeah Uh-huh.
<laughs> Alrighty. Alrighty. Yes. Hmm. Uh huh. Okay, okay. Listen, everybody. We've brought a string of hit products to market that have changed the world forever. And thanks to all of your hard work, now we've built this to our revolutionary new campus, the Treehouse! And that's not all the good news. We just added our 315,639th team member, which means we're not a company anymore. We're a nation in our own right. Soon, we'll be the biggest and best this world has ever seen. Just one last push. Are you with me? Woo, yeah! We're with you, Zip! Vector! 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 What a day. A company that started out in a shack got big enough to build this place. Got so big that it became an actual country. He had a vision for the treehouse. He wanted to build a place where people could live happy and work happy. And dang it if he didn't do just that. I had my doubts, you know. He was a different person back then. He had a smile for everybody. Where did the old zip go? Ah. <sighs> well, you see... Come on. Blimey.
Hey. Gah! Yeah. Can't wait to get the crystal battery up and running. This thing's gonna be a game changer for the energy business. The technology we build here today will make a better tomorrow for everybody. I can feel it. Someday soon, the world will finally understand my vision. We're not giving up until that day comes. Hey, hey, I couldn't have done it without you guys. This was a team effort. Don't forget that. I know I will. Soon, we'll be the biggest and best this world has ever seen. Just one last push. Are you with me? Uh, yeah. I, I was... Why was I... I, I, I don't... There's one last memory I want to show you. Please. You have to remember who you used to be. You have to bring the old Zip back. Uh, so I stayed up all night making this for you? <laughs> How about that, huh? A custom leg made just for you by the world's greatest engineer. You're, you're, you're gonna love it. This isn't my leg. I want my leg. I want my... No, I, I, I get it, Bracken. I, I get that you're upset, but... We're engineers. We solve humanity's problems. We use technology to help people. That's our purpose. That's what we do. Now, do you, do you really want a, a little thing like this to stop you from fulfilling that purpose? I... We solve humanity's problems, and we solve each other's, too, right? Um, you lose a leg, I make you a new one. I lose a hand, well, you know, I, I hope you do the same for me. Zip. And this leg, it's not just a machine. I put my heart and soul into it. It's, it's, uh, it's a part of me. Thank you. Hey, uh, I'm your boss. It's my job. I... Look, Zip, look at it! You've seen the things we can do these days. I could have upgraded it. I could have gotten rid of the leg you made me. But I would never do that. This leg... This leg is what gave me the courage to carry on. What got me where I am today? I... 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 You were the best engineer, the best boss, the best friend anyone could have. You had a good heart. The best. You have to remember. You have to. I remember now. I, I remember everything. What, what, what have I done? Zip, it's you, isn't it? The real you. You're back. Bracken, I, I'm so sorry. If it wasn't for you, I, I don't think I, I ever would have remembered. Shake 
thing. Oh no, Bastion. Well... Attention all team members, I need you to channel all available power into the reactor's high-pressure inlets right now! But, but, President Vector, they weren't designed to take that kind of punishment. And you know what that means better than anybody. The reactor will go critical and the core will fuse. In other words, we'll wind up with the world's most expensive hunk of junk. You sure about this, Zip? She's your baby. It's that or risk the lives of every person in this country. You think I'd hesitate for even one second? I'm the executive director of this company and the leader of this nation. Nothing is more important than my people. So flood the damn tubes! That's an order! Yes, sir. For Broadway. All right. Hey.
He's gotta be around here somewhere. It's... Not so fast. Evan! I understand now! A leader must be willing to give his life to protect his people. That's what Zip is planning to do, but I'm not going to let him. Not now. I won't run away. Not again! Not ever! Oh, Evan! Oh. In Eggman, I am buzzing. There goes nothing. Just getting used to being big and long and handsome again. Knickers! <laughs> exactly.
But, but I... Don't deserve to run this country, huh? I think the people might have something to say about that. President Vector, I came here originally to ask you something. You see, I'm trying to bring peace to our world. Real, lasting peace. But I will need your help to do it. Can I count on your support? Oh, I'm sure we can come to some kind of an arrangement. We'd need a preferential trade agreement, of course. Do you guys have an official technology partner? Let our nations be joined for the sake of the world. Let the banners of war ne'er again be unfurled. United, United we, we stand, stand as, as one single, single land. land. So he's looking to bring back this Horned One, and you're looking to stop him? Yes. And if we can join forces with the other kingdoms, we may just stand a chance. I see. And out of the big players, there's only Ding Dong Dell left now, huh? That could be difficult. Yes. But I can tell by your face, you're not going to back down. Luckily, we'll be right behind you. You have my word as president of Broadleaf. Thank you so much. You'll be going with our new friends, Bracken? Yes, Mr. President. Just as you ordered. But is that really all right? Bracken's awfully important to your kingdom, isn't she? Sure, and she'll be important to yours, too. I could hardly send some second-tier engineer to help our new partners now, could I? You heard the man. I'll be on hand for all your mechanical and technological needs from now on. From hair clips to airships, I'm your gal. So President Vector was freed from the grip of his obsession. And Broadleaf became the next country to sign up to the Declaration of Interdependence. And not only that, but Evan found a new friend in Bracken Meadows, whose endless inventiveness was sure to help Evermore flourish as never before. Only one great nation now remained. Ding Dong Dell. So Lottie finally showed his true power. Yes, it was such a surprise. You never would have guessed from looking at him. And everything seems to be settling down in Broadleaf too. It does, yes. President Vector is back to his old self. I'm sure he'll put his people first from now on. And his friends will learn to trust him again soon enough. The bond between them is too strong for them to hold a grudge. I only hope that I can forge such firm friendships. I've a long way to go before people look up to me like they do Zip, though. I'm nothing like him. It takes all kinds of kings to make a world. I think you should just keep doing what you're doing. Perhaps you're right. Hey, Evan. Have you ever thought about what you'd do if someone really close to you betrayed you? What? Oh, I was just wondering. Forget I asked.
Hmm. This is what you need, right? <gasps> So, you managed to acquire it. Not that I expected any less. You are nothing if not dependable. <laughs> yeah, that's me. We good to go then. Who's there? Um... Crikey! Chapter 7. A Traitor in Our Midst You see... Hmm. Forgive me. Hmm?
picnic. Hmm. Hey. Alrighty. What's the big idea? Thanks. Yes. Now... Uh -huh. Golly! Yeah! Huh. Now listen here! No.
Thanks. I... You have my thanks. Uh -huh. Now... What? So, Roland, get up to much last night, did you? Meet with any interesting characters? Last night? I don't know what you're talking about. Spare as you lies. You're a traitor, man. Fixing to leave our little kingdom behind for bigger and better. Don't bother to deny it. Roland? Surely not. Surely so, lad. Or did he think it a coincidence that our precious resources only go missing on this treacherous dog's watch? And what are the shady fella in the cloak he met with this past evening? Just an old pal come for a chinwag, was he? I'd like to hear you explain that little lot away, Mr. President. There must be some mistake. Mustn't there, Leander? One should not rush to judgment on the basis of hearsay alone, but I must say this does seem somewhat irregular. What? There you have it. Now sling your hook before I sling it for you, you scurvy swine. So that's how much trust I've earned, huh? Good to know. Maybe I would be better off someplace else. Someplace my talents will be appreciated. He as good as admits it. So long, Batu. Evan. Roland! You can't! Not even the slightest attempt to defend himself. One cannot help but wonder if Batu's suspicions were well-founded. No! Well now. Hmm. 
Greetings. All right. <laughs> Forgive me. Master Roland! You. You're one of Batu's men. Aye, that I am. Kumbish is the name. This gentleman was apprehended after being observed behaving suspiciously in our airspace. It is our belief that he is a spy. Curse you, ye devils! Didn't I say already? I was looking for Master Roland! For me? Why? <laughs> Forgive me, Your Honor. Seems I made a blunder. <laughs> you sure did. And why am I not surprised? Now, Mr. Crane, to our test. Let us see where your allegiance truly lies. Dispatching one of your former allies should provide us with adequate proof that you are ready to serve a new master. No, no. Listen here, you rat-faced swab, you. Is something the matter? Surely you are capable of such a straightforward show of commitment? Or could it be that we have an imposter in our midst? Don't get ahead of yourself. Let's just say I prefer to use my own methods. A 
Master Roland, no! We're shipmates! Y you can't just... Sorry. It's nothing personal. You were just in the wrong place at the wrong time. Ah! Curse you for the traitor you are! Ah! Ooh! Happy now? Hmm. Happy enough. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> but, but... Forgive me. What? What? Oh. Mm hmm. Sure. Say. <laughs> sure. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yes.
Huh? Oi! Oh, uh, just looking for something. Something very special indeed. The Mark of Kings, if I am not mistaken. So it was hidden here all along. And hidden very well. Believe me when I say we searched long and hard. I am disappointed in you, Roland. To deceive one's professed master is most uncivil. <laughs> All's fair in love and war. Isn't that what they say? Indeed it is. I am so very glad not to have believed you for a moment. Now, if you would be so kind as to hand over the mark. I don't think so. This belongs to the king. My king. Of course, if you'll sign the declaration, I'll be happy to make you a trade. You speak of your pathetic union. Now, I hardly think you are in any position to bargain. Not interested, huh? Well, let me know if you change your mind. Ha! To send a spy was most cunning. I must confess I had not thought your young protege capable of such subterfuge. Well, he's not about to poison his rivals or anything, but he's coming along. Very droll. But you of all people surely understand that no dream worthy of the name can be achieved without certain sacrifices being made along the way. It had to be done. And I would do it again in a heartbeat. I'm sure you would. So what is this dream of yours exactly? For too long. Our kind have suffered at the hands of the Grimalkin. My dream is a simple one. To see our feline oppressors prostrate themselves at our feet. Revenge, in other words. I'll call it what you will. It matters not. I have achieved my aim. A new era beckons. And my dream is now a reality. Tell me something. If your kind were so downtrodden, how exactly did you wind up becoming King Leonard's Chancellor? Pa! He used me! I was the unwitting tool of my persecutor. A puppet chosen to make my people more compliant. Whatever helps you sleep at night. I am tired of listening to this man. We should kill him, here and now. Hmm. Very well. Men, forward! Well, here goes nothing. That's yeah! right. Come and get me. This is where you come in. And off you go. Who the, where the, what's going on? Curse ya.
What's that now? Excuse me. Well. Yes. <laughs> huh? Forgive me. If I may be so bold.
well now. Oh my goodness! <laughs> oh, that cheek! So at last the hour had come for Evan to return to Ding Dong Dell and convince King Mao Zedong to sign the Declaration of Interdependence. Bright-eyed, yet heavy-hearted, he prepared to take the final steps of the journey he had begun, what now seemed a lifetime ago. It was time to bring his dream of a united world, one step closer to reality. Did my father and Mausinger hate each other? Sometimes it's just not possible for people to stay friends. Sometimes the circumstances just won't allow it. I can't believe that father would have hated someone or been suspicious of them simply because of their species. But then, why else would Mausinger do what he did? I suppose he was afraid. Afraid? Of what? That the great man he dedicated his life to was using him and will one day cast him aside. Think about it. What could be more frightening than being discarded by someone you love? Not that I know all the details, of course. Right. shall appear from a far eastern land across the sea. A young man who has yet to know his potential. This potential is a power that could either destroy him or realize his will. <laughs> 